ever wondered how a tiny circuit breaker handles massive electrical surges? It all comes down to two key ratings, making current and breaking current. Today, we'll crack the code on these electrical champs. The making current of a circuit breaker is the peak value of the maximum current loop during the subtransient condition, including the DC component when the breaker closes. I1 represents the making current of the circuit breaker, excluding the DC component. The ability of a breaker to handle current depends on its capacity to withstand and successfully close against the effect of electromagnetic forces. Since electromagnetic force is directly proportional to the square of the current, the maximum electromagnetic force on the breaker's contacts occurs when the current is at its peak. For this reason, the making current of a circuit breaker is specified in terms of the peak value of the current. Additionally, if the breaker is closed while a fault exists, it must be designed to withstand the resulting electromagnetic forces. The most severe condition to consider is when the breaker is closed during a phase-to-phase -phase short circuit fault, causing the maximum current to flow through the phase wire during the subtransient condition. After this, the current decreases. Within 8 to 10 cycles, during the transient state, the current decreases further until the steady state is reached. Before reaching the steady state, the current passes through two stages, subtransient and transient, where it decays to achieve the steady state. It is clear from the picture that the current's nature is asymmetric due to the presence of the DC component. However, at steady state, the current becomes sinusoidal, that is, symmetric. The breaking current of a circuit breaker depends on the point in the current wave at which the breaker's contacts start to separate. In the picture, the contacts start to separate at point AB. At this point, let the symmetric component of the current be X ampere and the DC component be Y ampere. Therefore, the symmetrical breaking current is equal to the RMS value of the AC component that is X by root 2 and asymmetrical breaking current is equal to the RMS value of the total current that is root over X by root 2 whole square plus y square. It is important to note that the breaking current of a circuit breaker is always given in RMS. There are two specifications to consider. Symmetric breaking current and asymmetric breaking current. In India, the breaking current is specified in terms of symmetric breaking current, whereas in the USA, it is specified as asymmetric breaking current. From the previous discussion, it is evident that the making current is the peak value of current during the subtransient state, including the DC offset value. In contrast, the breaking current is the RMS value of the current at the moment the breaker contacts separate. Consequently, the making current must be higher than the breaking current. If the symmetrical breaking current is known, the making current can be determined. Let the symmetrical breaking current be I. Then, the peak value of the symmetrical breaking current will be root 2 times of I. To obtain the making current, we need to include the DC component of the current. Since the DC component of the current during the subtransient state is nearly equal to the peak value of the current, the making current will be root 2 times of I into 1.8, that is 2.55 times of I. Hence, it is clear that the making current is greater than the breaking current. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us bring more informative videos to you. We'd also love to hear from you. If you have any questions, suggestions or comments, please leave them down below. We're always here to help and eager to hear your feedback. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.